this is where the problems start to appear. But we have Chompers and we have Melon Pults and we have me Winter Melons. We have Twin Sunflowers. We need Pots. We're going to need Potato Mines. Let's get double Potato Mines and let's go Squash probably. Just because we're probably going to need it for the Gargantua. I think there's an achievement for Gargantua, possibly. M maybe not. I might be misthinking about that. Misremembering something. But anyway, let's go. I don't even think we need to protect stuff with umbrella leaf, so we can just put out anything anywhere. So we're not going to do semi- we're going to do full sunflowers this time. Just go all out. And we have a rake, so we're guaranteed victory, especially because we also have the roof cleaners this time. To stop the gargantuas from just stopping everything to just win. Don't panic. Take it slow. I feel like the effect of future just keeps getting turned off. I need to keep turning it back on. Oh, gold. Thank you. Can't get rid of you. Plant that. <coughs> the sun production is going to be really good in this level. As long as I keep planting. Let's do that. And let's do that. Probably want to just put in some extra potato mines just preemptively. Just for making the most out of them. For the moment. While we try and get our sun production going. Okay, one more sunflower. We might be able to start putting in some stronger stuff. Once we get enough sun. Okay, let's put that in there. If we can take out these middle two lanes there and there, we should be good. For a basic spread of damage. But it's not going to be enough to completely stop them, so we're going to need every row cleaned up. Of course it's in that row, I should have known. It's fine though, we have some time to spend. So let's spend it. Very nice. Should be able to stop that zombie. Probably. I don't know if it's going to be before it gets to this potato mine though. And that is my real question right now. Nope, but it's okay, because that's all part of the plan. Just gonna keep planting potato mines for the moment. It's probably slowing down my ultimate production of everything, but it's fine. I'm gonna slow down for a second and wait. We're definitely going to want to have the winter melons out there as soon as possible because of the gargantua. Put that in there, since we can. Those should be taken care of already. Gonna save up as much sun as possible right now. I've already wasted too much. On potato mines. But it's buying me some extra time to upgrade stuff. Okay. It's looking pretty good now. Let's start putting in some winter melons. I'm gonna have this row available if I need it. Because there could still be some really bad stuff on its way. Okay. So far so good. Nothing terrible. We can also start expanding our melon pult setup. Once we figure out where we want to shoot it, let's put it there. Gonna 
on hold off a second because we have two things that we're going to upgrade in a second. So let's upgrade that. And now, we might actually be able to just... Oh, we've got so many things now though. Let me do that. No, that was what I wanted. Right. Yeah, good, good, good. Everything's good. Uh, let's put that in there now. We might need to dig up some of these potato mines that I put in earlier. It was a bit too preemptive. But it's all good. Okay. I'm gonna dig that up, put that in there. Probably shouldn't waste too much sun at the moment though. Ho ha ye ha hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, 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 how are you, how are you doing? How do you do? Gotta stop that for a second. So I can take that out quickly. Let's upgrade that. The squash was a good start to slow it down and buy me more some, some more time because I need it. Okay, very nice. I think I remember what the achievement was and I'm not going to be able to do it with what I currently have. I have to actually buy something from the shop for what it is. I couldn't even accidentally do it. Okay. Let's go second wave. Might have been worth pumpkining the front row. Maybe. Let's do that. Upgrade sun production. Let's try and keep things under control as much as possible. Even if it means sacrificing some sun. Let's do that. Chocolate, thank you. Always appreciative. Just having the squash to take out the first half of the Gargantua's health is good. And splitting them up. Okay, let's hold off for a second. Or 12. Okay, we're about ready to upgrade that. And then maybe even do something else as well, actually. We have a lot more sun than I was expecting to have. So let's do that. There's another Gargantua, so I'm gonna need to deal with that. Just like we always do. Thank you. I think that did what it needed to do. Yep. It just didn't seem like it because it was still in another animation. But there we go. This is looking quite good now, we're at the end, so... Okay, final wave. If there's any Gargantua, we want to take that out immediately. Let's do that. Also, I forgot that they can still drop zombies in from above. But it's fine because everything else is being taken out anyway. From what I can tell. Okay, good. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Cool. Very cool. Okay, what's what level are we up to? I can't tell, it's not telling me. Oh, more fun stuff. Uh, I probably want to do a similar strategy to last time, except there's also the Jack in the Box guy and there's also the ladder zombie. But I might just be able to take them out quickly, but there's also the bungee zombie. Which is also going to change my strategy, so let's just go... Crazy, I guess. Need that this time. Uh, there's something that's changed that's allowed me to still do my strategy and still do it the same way and just a little bit different. Uh, but we're going to not have as much sun this time, so we're going to have to play smart. Actually, I see what it did. It picked the squash for me. I didn't think about that. Let's do semi-sunflowers, and we have a rake. We are set with the rake. <clears throat> nope, that's not where I, want, where, I, where I wanted that. That's fine, I can do what I did last time when I made this mistake and just remove it later on. Which is I didn't actually do in the end because it was, I, it was 
I didn't even need semi sunflowers at that point in time, so. We're gonna be super good with this. I'm gonna play out that strategy that I already created from earlier when I made a mistake. Just like that. Just need to take it slow at the moment so I can actually figure out what I'm doing. And not rush things and make mistakes. Speaking of making mistakes, that was probably a mistake to do that just then. It's not getting everything out as quickly as it could. If you're pausing to do something, it's probably a mistake. But if you're just waiting and relax, it's probably good. Just need to wait for enough sun so we can put in a watermelon. Okay, where's the next zombie gonna spawn from? Because that's gonna determine where we put this watermelon. We should be good. Okay, there's another zombie down there, but I might... Oh, I'm gonna have to put in these anyway, aren't I? So let's do that. Double... Potato mine. And that way we can protect the top area a little bit more. I'm tempted to protect the stuff with uh, umbrella leaf, but I'm gonna hold off and try and get as many watermelons in as possible first. And hopefully they're like, not gonna rush stronger, fast zombies at me. Uh, there's something in the bottom row, but I should probably take care of that, so let's do that. Okay, they're going in the middle again, so let's do a uh, 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 imitator. That should have enough time to get rid of that. And then I can put in some extra stuff. Okay, so let's put in that there and that there. And then we can get enough sun to put in the next few things. Oh, buckethead zombie, that's not good. Um, I probably just want to blow you up for the moment. Instead of trying to actually deal with the problem. I made too many mistakes. So let's do that. We need to protect that area with an umbrella leaf, so let's get that going. Upgrade that. Okay. First wave. Let's see how we go. We don't have any winter melons currently. Oh, that's not a good sound. Slow down. Thank you. I think the rate of fire slowed down when I actually changed the plant. Possibly. Just because it reset the tick. Speed. Okay, we're all good. It's all good. Just gonna, just gonna play it safe. Just gonna play it, play it, play it safe. Panic watermelon. <laughs> please take it out. 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 Please. Thank you. Okay, we're still good. Oh, there's a buckethead zombie. I really need some more winter melon if I can. I'm gonna probably put it in the top row. Although I could also just put in another. Regular watermelon. I'm gonna do that instead, though. We could also blow it up as a backup plan, so let's do that. Oh, hello. I can't slow you down currently. That's not good. But hopefully I can take you out with just regular attacks. Before you get there, thank you. All according to plan. Um, we're gonna run into some issues in a second, aren't we? What's that? Wintermelon is actually doing a good job at the top row. So that means the one down here is also probably going to do fairly well. Is it going to be enough to stop it before that potato mine though? Probably, actually. This next one should do it. Almost. 
Nope, not quite. Well, we're moving in the right direction, so... It should be fine, as long as we keep upgrading things and improving. We should be able to put another windmill on, let's do that, do that. And do that. Just go all out right now. I have a bad feeling that something strong is about to spawn in. Possibly after this wave though. In a minute, I need a thing on the top row, so I need a little bit more sun please. Thank you, and everything drops sun all at once. So let's take care of that, and we should be alright, for the most part. Although I will also need some extra protection now for those outer plants. Because I don't want to lose them to bungee zombies. Okay, second wave. Here we go. And we're probably gonna have some tougher stuff now, so we're probably gonna need, need to use that squash. Okay, so far so good. Everything being slowed down, which is also good. Do that. Protect that. Uh, let's upgrade the last sunflower, so we don't need to upgrade that anymore. It's good to check that off in my mind. Just need to do a few other things now, whenever some stronger stuff spawns in. Although we're getting through level pretty quickly now as well. Let's upgrade the last winter melon. And now all we can really do is increase power with more uh, melon pots. Oh, and also taking out that Gantua. Please, thank you. Although, that's gonna throw it a lot further forward, isn't it now? Because I've got my, 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 my stuff is further forward now. Interesting. So we're gonna need a back and a front attack stuff to make sure that we can take care of the thing that throw the the, 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 the little, little zombie needs to be taken out as well as the stuff in front oh boy hello let me deal with you like that good thing I put those umbrella leaf in oh but this guy's gonna come and ruin my day apparently thank you still have to take out that guy guy game though there we go Okay, third wave. Just like that. I really hope that there's no gargantua right now because I just placed down my pot and I need need it for stuff. A squash. We're good so far. Just need to be careful about that. Need to spot the gargantua first before we can actually deal with it though. Okay, we're all right. Just need to keep being strong. Oh, that's not where I wanted to put that, but that's fine. Let me put that there. I could just keep planting out pots and hope that that we're strong enough to deal with stuff. There's a gargantua. Okay, let's do that. Please don't squash it. Thank you. It almost destroyed the squash. It was not going to be good. Okay, take that out. Before it eats anything. Thank you. Okay, this is this is about as good as it's gonna get. So now we need to be careful. I could also I think I'm just gonna upgrade some of the melon pulse to make them slow down stuff faster. Just overall. Because sometimes they get fairly far forward before they get slowed down. But that might just be because I haven't got enough power or something. Okay, here we go. 
He's gonna take that, really? Okay. Well, let's take care of that gargantua. Oh boy, here we go. It's fine. Everything's actually going really smoothly. Okay. It's- it's because I had a rake. <laughs> Rakes are just too powerful for the game to handle. It man manipulates the RNG or something, I don't know. But anyway, we're up to the end of the harder mode now. So let's take out the Zomboss. Hello. You're on my roof. You're on my roof. Get off my roof. Uh, I'm just gonna put that wherever. I probably should have waited, but it's fine. It works out perfectly, so... Oh, hello. Interesting. Where are you gonna put your next thing, though? There, let me take care of that. Uh, let's freeze for a second. So we can give our cabbage poults enough time to do what they need to do. Uh, and if we can get another thing to attack with, that'd be good. If we can get another few things to attack with, that'd be good. Good thing I didn't stack two things in the same rows. Okay, freeze, and... Melon Pult. That's the best I can do for the moment. It's not gonna be symmetrical, but... He's gonna attack stuff anyway at some point and just take them all out, so... Might as well just do what I can for the moment. Okay, freeze. Hopefully I don't need... No, it's fine, there's another one anyway. Do some damage. Okay, freeze that. And just keep going. Freeze. Good stuff. Okay, next up. Okay, Buckethead Zombie. I'm also going to plant some more of these pots out for some extra space. Freeze you so you can walk slower. Ah, uh, Melon Pult. Needs, needs to not waste these special items. Too much. Ah, uh, that row is a little bit undefended. But it's fine, we can do something about that. Okay, what are you gonna do? Red or blue? Blue. Okay, let's do all that then. And let's also freeze you just because we can. And that'll help a lot. With just taking you out in general. Okay, we've done a little bit of damage, but not a lot. We need to do a lot more. Okay, and he's doing that of course. Slow them down a bit so we can hopefully stop them. In theory. Oh, hello. Let me get rid of you. Okay. This is somewhat balancing out now. Somewhat. 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 Hello. I need to not plant too much stuff right now. Um, I can't right now. It's sad, but true. Okay, now we can. Do that. Okay. Just keep doing damage. Just keep doing... Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Doing a good amount of damage now. You can see the bar at the bottom of the screen is his, probably, probably his health. Pretty much. Because once that's done, we should be done. Oh, hello. Let's replace that there. Seems smart, in my opinion. Okay. Wonder if he's gonna... Nope, okay. Let's do that now. Let's do some damage. Okay, and now we need to take that out, just like that. Okay, everything shoot. Nope, okay. Well, here we go. We're gonna do some different stuff now. Ow, oh, bad. Let me fix that up right away. Get 
He's not attacking his side at the moment, so that's pretty good. Oh, hello. I need to do something about you, but I don't have something to do with you. I don't have something to do with you. Stop. Oh, it's not stopping you. Please. Oh, boy. Do that. There we go. Made a mistake there, but it's fine. Please stop the zombies. Thank you. Oh, that's not good. I really could have used that for stuff. Do that. Thank you. That's not good. I need to not expend my stuff too much at the moment, though. Okay, please. Thank you. Okay, he's coming down. Let's do some damage. We might need to freeze, possibly. Yes. Let's do that. Just stop him in his tracks. Probably do it again. And now double Alpino, freeze him again. And there we go. Symmetrical. Perfect. Well, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's all done now. Uh, I don't know if that was gonna do anything differently. <laughs> Possibly. Well, I think it's just that that's it, pretty much. Okay, so there we go. We've done it. Once more, we are victorious. We have more money now. Uh, but now what? I don't know. I guess I can buy a few more things, since we're so close to having everything. So close. And I can buy some more wisdom. Buy all that out. Okay, wisdom. Give me wisdom. Wisdom? Wisdom. I really thought something else was going to happen. The Pogo Party and Bob said Bonanza minigames are really, really, really difficult. Want to drop one off of the release of that description? I didn't see the rest. It's fine. I didn't read it fast enough. It's fine. Just when you thought jalapenos couldn't be any more useful, a tree of wisdom lets you know that they are also destroy zombies. Ice trails. Bam. Okay. Once you buy the imitator, try clicking the little drawing of in the upper left corner of your alimatic to access the entry on that sucker. Oh, there it is. Cool. Imitators let you use two of the same plant during a level. I remember the zombie wars back in back in seventy six. Says Imitator in a raspy old man voice. Back then we didn't have all these fancy pea shooters and jalapenos. All we had was guts. Guts and a spoon. Okay. Anyway. Also I want to look at the other zombie. The Yeti zombie because look at it. Just look at it. We couldn't really see it very well in the level so I just wanted to look at it here. So. But anyway. That's all the things basically. We just have mini games and endless modes to do. Oh my goodness. Oh, difficult mini games. Difficult mini games. It's fine. Anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.